Remember when tech jobs were the hottest ticket in town? Yeah, me neither. It feels like just yesterday that tech companies were the dream employers, offering not just competitive salaries, but also perks like free meals, gym memberships, and even nap pods. The tech industry was booming, and everyone wanted a piece of the pie. But now, the landscape has shifted dramatically. Just kidding. But seriously, things have changed faster than a Twitter algorithm. One moment, tech giants were expanding at an unprecedented rate, and the next, they were announcing massive layoffs. It's almost as if the industry was caught in a whirlwind, unable to keep up with its own rapid growth. We're talking mass layoffs, pink slips flying like confetti at a going out of business party. The scale of these layoffs is staggering, affecting not just a handful of employees, but entire departments. It's a sobering reminder that no job is truly secure, even in an industry that once seemed invincible. It's enough to make you want to learn to code, or maybe just hide under your weighted blanket. The pressure to stay relevant in such a volatile industry is immense. Many are scrambling to upskill, hoping to make themselves indispensable, while others are simply trying to cope with the stress and uncertainty. The numbers are grimmer than a server room after a power outage. Reports indicate that tens of thousands of tech workers have lost their jobs in recent months. The ripple effects are being felt across the industry, from Silicon Valley to tech hubs around the world. We're talking thousands of jobs slashed across big tech and startups alike. No company is immune, whether it's a household name or a promising new startup. The announcements come as a shock to many, leaving employees and their families in a state of uncertainty. It's like everyone's playing musical chairs, but someone replaced the music with the sound of crashing stock prices. The financial markets have not been kind to tech companies, with stock prices plummeting and investors growing increasingly wary. This has only added to the pressure on companies to cut costs and streamline operations. From Google to Meta, Amazon to Microsoft, nobody's safe. Even the biggest names in tech are feeling the pinch, with some of the most well-known companies announcing significant layoffs. It's a stark reminder that no one is immune to the economic forces at play. It's enough to make you wonder if Mark Zuckerberg regrets inventing the metaverse. The ambitious project has faced its own set of challenges, and with the current economic climate, it's hard not to question the timing and feasibility of such ventures. Maybe he's just stuck in there, trying to escape the layoff announcements. The metaverse, once hailed as the next big thing, now seems like a distant dream for many. As tech companies navigate these turbulent times, one can only hope that the industry will find a way to stabilize and thrive once again. Until then, the tech world remains on edge, bracing for whatever comes next. Remember the pandemic tech boom? It was a time when the world was forced to stay indoors, and technology became our lifeline. The tech industry saw an unprecedented surge in demand as people turned to digital solutions for work, entertainment, and even socializing. Everyone and their grandma was ordering stuff online attending Zoom meetings in their pajamas and investing in crypto. Online shopping became the norm, with people buying everything from groceries to gadgets with just a few clicks. Zoom became the new office, classroom and social hangout, while cryptocurrencies promised a new financial frontier. Tech companies went on a hiring spree, thinking the good times would never end. They expanded their teams rapidly, bringing in engineers, developers, and product managers to keep up with the soaring demand. It was a golden age for tech recruitment, with companies offering lucrative packages to attract top talent. They were basically pouring gasoline on the fire of their own success. The more they hired, the more they grew, and the more they grew, the more they hired. It was a self-perpetuating cycle of growth and expansion fueled by the belief that the digital transformation was here to stay. But like that questionable burrito you ate at 2 a.m., the party couldn't last forever. The initial euphoria began to wear off, and the reality of an overextended workforce started to set in. The tech bubble, much like any other bubble, was bound to burst. As the world opened up, 
people started going outside again, putting on real pants, and realizing they didn't need 17 different food delivery apps. The shift in consumer behavior was palpable. People were eager to return to physical stores, meet friends in person, and enjoy the simple pleasures of life outside the digital realm. Suddenly, those extra engineers and product managers started looking less like assets and more like liabilities. The tech giants, once riding high on the wave of digital dependency, found themselves grappling with the challenge of an oversized workforce. Downsizing became inevitable as companies sought to balance their books and streamline operations. It turns out you can have too much of a good thing, especially when that good thing is a six-figure salary. The high salaries that once attracted the best talent now became a burden. Companies had to make tough decisions, cutting costs and letting go of employees to stay afloat. The tech industry, once the darling of the pandemic era, faced a sobering reality check. But all is not lost. The tech industry is known for its resilience and ability to adapt. As the dust settles, companies are re-evaluating their strategies, focusing on sustainable growth and finding new ways to innovate. The lessons learned from this period will shape the future of technology, ensuring that the next boom is built on a more solid foundation. Remember when you could buy a decent cup of coffee for under $5? Pepperidge Farm remembers. But inflation has hit everyone hard, including the tech giants. Their operating costs are through the roof, from cloud computing expenses to the price of office snacks, which, let's be honest, are probably still pretty fancy. And it's not just the companies feeling the pinch. Consumers are also tightening their belts, which means less spending on all those gadgets, subscriptions, and online services that tech companies rely on. So basically, it's a lose-lose situation for everyone, except maybe the discount grocery store down the street. Section 4. Interest rate hike, hangover, cheap money, dries up. Remember when interest rates were so low, you could practically get paid to take out a loan? Those were the days. It was a golden era for borrowing, where money was cheap and easily accessible. Businesses, especially in the tech sector, thrived on this abundance of low-cost capital. It was a time when dreams were big and the financial constraints seemed minimal. But the Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes to combat inflation have thrown a wrench into the tech industry's well-oiled machine. The era of easy money is over, and the repercussions are being felt across the board. Higher interest rates mean higher borrowing costs, and for many tech startups, this is a significant blow. These companies, which once relied on a steady stream of venture capital, are now finding it harder to secure the funds they need to grow and innovate. Tech companies, especially startups, rely heavily on venture capital funding to fuel their growth. This funding is the lifeblood of innovation, allowing companies to develop new technologies, hire talent, and expand their operations. Without it, many startups would struggle to survive, let alone thrive. The venture capital landscape has always been competitive, but with the recent interest rate hikes, it's become even more challenging. But with higher interest rates, investors are getting skittish. They're becoming more cautious, scrutinizing every investment opportunity with a fine-tooth comb. The days of throwing money at every promising startup are over. Investors are now looking for safer bets, preferring established companies with proven track records over risky tech ventures that may or may not ever turn a profit. This shift in investor sentiment is causing a ripple effect throughout the tech industry. They're looking for safer bets than risky tech ventures that may or may not ever turn a profit. This cautious approach is understandable given the current economic climate. However, it poses a significant challenge for startups that are still in the early stages of development. These companies need capital to bring their ideas to life, but with investors playing it safe, securing that capital has become increasingly difficult. So, the money spigot has slowed to a trickle, leaving many tech companies in a precarious position. The once abundant flow of venture capital has been reduced to a mere drip, 
forcing startups to rethink their strategies. They can no longer rely on continuous funding rounds to sustain their operations. Instead, they must find ways to cut costs and extend their runway, ensuring they can survive until the financial climate improves, leaving many tech companies scrambling to cut costs and extend their runway. This often means making tough decisions, such as laying off employees, scaling back projects, and delaying product launches. It's a challenging time for the tech industry, but it's also a period of adaptation and resilience. Companies that can navigate these turbulent waters will emerge stronger and more resilient in the long run. It's like trying to fly a plane with half an engine. The journey is fraught with challenges, and the risk of failure is high. However, for those who can weather the storm, the rewards can be substantial. The tech industry has always been about innovation and adaptability, and this period of financial tightening is no different. You might stay airborne for a little while, but it's not going to be a smooth ride. The turbulence is real, and the path ahead is uncertain. However, with careful planning, strategic decision-making, and a bit of luck, tech companies can navigate this challenging landscape and continue to innovate and grow. But it's not going to be a smooth ride. The road ahead is bumpy, but it's also filled with opportunities for those who are willing to adapt and persevere. The tech industry has faced challenges before, and it will undoubtedly face them again. But with resilience and innovation, it will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, even in the face of financial adversity. Section 5. AI Automation. Nation Robots. Coming for your desk job. Remember when robots were just a figment of science fiction? Well, the future is now, and it's coming for your desk job. Artificial intelligence and automation are rapidly changing the tech landscape, and not everyone is thrilled about it. Companies are investing heavily in AI tools and platforms that can automate tasks previously done by humans, from customer service to data analysis. While AI has the potential to make businesses more efficient and productive, it also raises concerns about job displacement. Will robots eventually replace all human workers? Probably not, but they're definitely giving some of us a run for our money.